There is also a brand new Star Trek movie in the works, and it stars one of the most badass characters in the franchise, Michelle Yeoh. That's right, the Discovery fan favorite is getting her own spin-off film called Star Trek Section 31, where she will play the sassy and ruthless Emperor Philippa Giorgio. I mean, how awesome is that? But when will this movie come out and what will it be about? And who else will join Yo in the cast? Well, you'll have to watch until the end to find out as we show you everything that we know about Star Trek Section 31. Star Trek Section 31 will beam to theaters as a movie, not a series. First teased on Deep Space Nine and popping up across various Star Trek shows and movies like Enterprise, Discovery, Lower Decks, Picard, and Into Darkness, Section 31 is shrouded in mystery. But one thing is for sure, Michelle Yeoh is returning as the badass Philippa Giorgio to headline this new epic feature film event. You heard that right, Section 31 is coming to the big screen for a major motion picture. This is no longer a series as originally planned. As a quick refresher, Yo first portrayed the fan favorite Emperor Giorgio in Season 1 of Star Trek Discovery. Then rumors kicked into warp speed after a deleted scene showed Giorgio being recruited into Section 31. Now those rumors are finally becoming reality. Star Trek Section 31 cast, so keep watching as you don't want to miss this. The new Star Trek film Section 31 starring Michelle Yeoh has confirmed that she will be reprising her role as the infamous Philippa Giorgio. Now this is awesome news for fans of Yeoh's character. After becoming a fan favorite on Star Trek Section 31 cast, Yo approached CBS about giving Giorgio her own spin-off show to continue exploring this complex character. Now her wish is coming true in an even bigger way, with Giorgio getting her own major motion picture. When talking about returning to play Giorgio again, Yo could barely contain her excitement, saying, I am beyond thrilled to return to my Star Trek family and to the role that I've loved for so long. Section 31 has been near and dear to my heart since I began the journey of playing Philippa all the way back when this new golden age of Star Trek launched. To see her finally get her moment is a dream come true, and a year that has shown me the incredible power of never giving up on your dreams. We can't wait to share what's in store for you, and until then, live long and prosper. Unless Emperor Giorgio decrees otherwise. While Yo is the only cast member that is currently confirmed so far, it is possible that we could see some familiar faces from Discovery pop up in the new film. For instance, Shazad Latif's character Ash Tyler was made commander of Section 31 on the show, so maybe he will reprise his role in the movie too. We'll just have to wait and see if any other Discovery actors beam aboard the Section 31 film. Now one thing is for sure, with the amazing Michelle Yeoh leading the cast, Star Trek Section 31 is setting a course to be an exciting new entry in the Star Trek film franchise. Star Trek Section 31 Plot According to the official Star Trek website, the plot of Star Trek Section 31 is as follows. In Star Trek Section 31, Emperor Philippa Giorgio joins a secret division of Starfleet tasked with protecting the United Federation of Planets and faces the sins of her past. Sounds pretty exciting, right? But wait, there's more. If you're not familiar with Giorgio's backstory, let us fill you in. She is not from the same universe as the other Star Trek characters. She is from a parallel dimension called the Mirror Universe, where everything is evil and twisted. She was the ruthless leader of a brutal empire that oppressed and enslaved other species. She had no mercy, no compassion, and no remorse. Emperor, you have me confused with someone else. I'm Philippa Jojo, retired captain of the USS Sinjo. But then she was transported to the Prime Universe, where she met the crew of the USS Discovery. Starfleet records show you're retired. Do I look retired? You're on a classified mission. Hmm. She had to adapt to a new reality where Starfleet was a force for good, and where her adopted daughter, Michael Burnham, was a loyal officer. She had to learn to be a better person, or at least pretend to be one. But that's not all. She also got involved with a mysterious organization called Section 31. This may clear things up, Captain. Section 31? Fancy. 
Covert ops, intelligence gathering, threat assessment. Fun times. This is a covert group that operates outside of the law, doing whatever it takes to protect the Federation. They use shady tactics such as espionage, sabotage, assassination, and even torture. They have access to advanced technology such as cloaking devices, holograms, and mind control. They are the dark side of Starfleet. So what will happen when Giorgio joins Section 31? Will she find redemption or will she fall back into her old ways? Will she make friends or enemies? Will she save the galaxy or destroy it? You'll have to watch the show to find out. So what will be the timeline for Star Trek Section 31? Are you ready for a mind-blowing Star Trek imaginative adventure? Well, then buckle up, because we are going to explore the mysterious and secretive world of Section 31. You don't want to miss this. Section 31 is a covert organization that operates outside of the normal Starfleet rules and regulations. They are willing to do whatever it takes to protect the Federation, even if it means crossing some ethical lines. Sounds intriguing, right? But here's the catch. We don't know when or where this story will take place, and that is because at the end of Discovery, Giorgio left the 32nd century, but she didn't say where she was going. She could end up in any era of Star Trek history, from the pre-TOS era to the Dominion War to Picard's new timeline. The possibilities are endless. And that means we could see some familiar faces from the Star Trek universe along the way. Just imagine Giorgio meeting Kirk, Spock, Picard, Sisko, Janeway, or any other iconic character. How awesome would that be? Well, you won't believe what happens, so keep watching. But don't expect this to be a typical Star Trek movie. Section 31 will be darker, edgier, and more action-packed than ever before. Giorgio will have to face her own demons and decide where she stands on the moral spectrum. Can she redeem herself through Section 31? Or will she fall deeper into the shadows? You'll be surprised at what happens. Star Trek Section 31 trailer. Are you ready for the most thrilling Star Trek movie ever? Well, you better be, because Section 31 is coming soon to a theater near you. But is there a trailer for Section 31? Well, you don't want to miss this. Now, before you get too excited, there is some bad news. There is no trailer for Section 31 yet. That's right, no trailer. Why? Well, because they haven't even started making the movie yet. Bummer, huh? But don't worry, they are planning to start shooting later this year, and then we will get some sneak peeks of what is going on behind the scenes. Maybe we'll even get some cool costumes, some badass weapons, or some mysterious characters. You won't believe what happens, so keep watching. And then when the movie is almost ready, we will finally get to see the full trailer. That is when we will see the action, the drama, the suspense, and the fun of Section 31. The trailer will probably come out in six to eight months before the movie does, which could be as soon as late 2024 or as late as mid-2025. You're gonna be surprised at what happened. So until then, you'll have to be patient and wait for our first glimpse of Section 31, but trust me, it will be worth it. This movie is going to be epic and you will want to be the first to see it. When will Star Trek Section 31 premiere? Well, when do you get to see it? That's the tricky part. The movie has been in development for quite a while, but it has yet to start filming. The production is expected to begin later this year in 2023, so that means that we will have to wait a bit longer before we can enjoy it. But don't worry, it will be worth it. Industry experts estimate that the movie could be ready for streaming as mid-2025 or late 2025 if everything goes well. That's not too far away, is it? Of course, things could change depending on how the filming takes place, but we are hopeful that we will get to see Section 31 sooner rather than later. One fan could not hide their excitement as they said a movie was the only way they were getting my back. Seeing as Giorgio is easily one of the best characters to come out of the new Trek, I am pleased with this. Plus, it hopefully keeps a slot open for Legacy. Another fan said, making this movie makes a ton of sense. Yo's Oscar win makes her an expensive actor. Making this a movie costs less than doing an entire series. Yo being executive producer is a great sign of just how much she cares. I suspect it is also part of her compensation. So if you love this, then you are going to be interested to watch Star Trek IV The Voyage Home trailer with Chris Pine. First, look plus new details.